So uh, I basically I listened to a lot of like podcasts from around the world and like 10 years, I lived on a farm, didn't do much, hung out with horses, uh, just got a lot of information in my brain, every source I could find. Eventually, I, uh, well, I was always into the music because uh, oh, I'm a Pisces, it seems to come naturally to Pisces, whatever, but um, I, uh, being uh, in the frequency of uh, Violet is kind of how I came to this conclusion. There's a podcast I listened to, I forget who, who it was, but they're talking about how frequency actually manifests as color and the highest vibrating frequency in an octave is violet so I looked it up online and I found it to be true that when you uh, when you put color to frequencies they actually manifest so violet is the highest vibrating frequency in an octave. And that tells me if this uh, zodiac thing is true where the basis is red, Aries, um, then in the progression it would be, the end it would be Pisces and violet. And uh, it'd be the 12th note. And, and C would be the first note. Well, there's correlations between uh, the Zodiac, which is Aries. Aries is like the god of war. Um, Mars, uh, Mars has like, they say it's a red planet and it has a lot of iron on it. So, in the Zodiac, Aries is red. It's a ram, it gets things started. It's like an analogy for getting, uh, for the basis. It's the base of everything. And it's a known thing that the C note is how we actually uh, register music and how we uh, record music today. Ever since uh, like World War II-ish time, we started uh, recording music in uh, uh, 440 vibrations per second, so oscillations um, per second. Like, so the string will go up and down uh, 440 times per second. In the C4 note, I'm not sure <laughs> where it is. I'm suspecting it's around here um, because it's in a range that human ear can hear. It should be like um, you know, somewhere in the middle, but that's just a, a guess. But anyways, um, so if uh, so, I also learned about piano. When you uh, hit all the white keys on a piano, that's a major scale. Then I looked it up and C is the only note you can play a major scale. If you start in C, you can play all the white keys. Any other note, you can't. Um, you have to hit the, a black key here and there. So therefore, a major scale is based in C in that note and so is music. Uh, music itself is based in the C note, which is the whole basis of this color scheme. So it corresponds to time, 12 parts in our clock, um, 12 zodiac signs, um, the metric system, or the, the uh, imperial system, 12, many, many other things, uh, computers, 12, 24, 64, 32, or 32. Um, so uh, instead of binary code, and ones and zeros, blacks and whites, Things are actually seven colors in uh, set sets, or there are seven pure colors: the white keys in the piano and five off tone colors, the black keys in the piano. So there's twelve total. When, when you see a rainbow in the sky, basically our eyes see what pops up to our eyes is the seven pure tones. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Because I have a B note, there's an added B note on this string, uh, guitar, it's a seven string, but. Um, 
So you can actually extrapolate the 12 colors and the seven pure tones for pretty much anything. So for example, Sagittarius resonates in the A note. So, uh, and uh, that's also, oh no, it's Capricorn resonates in the A note. Um, but that's kind of like authority. Like you see police wearing dark blue uniforms. And that's because it's going straight to your brain. The A notes, if you look at the chakra system, and start from C, extrapolate up. Um, yeah, at the center of the brain, the pineal gland, the pituitary, whatever, is uh, kind of a resonating in royal blue. So um, that's authority, because the reason it's also called A is because it all starts inside your head. All perception starts inside your head. So, you go from A to B. B is basically the crown of your head, it's the crown chakra they call it. It's also a mixture of the darkest of blue and going back to red again. So that would be violet, ultraviolet, and rays. Um, the reason it's ultraviolet, in my thinking, is uh, because it's right between the gateways. It's a gateway from the octaves. Like, well, how do you take flight? <laughs> it's the last. It's the uh, last of the 12 steps. Um, and as you can see here, there's a stairway to heaven in this sequence. You can see the, uh, the patterns of, uh, you see dark blue, dark blue, uh, dark blue, dark blue, right? It's like a stairway, it's like a step. Red, 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 red. Same thing everywhere. Instead of just saying, teaching people why or where, where the things are. Oh, this is this note. Oh, memorize chord progressions. Oh, learn, uh, learn um, scales. You gotta learn your scales, but it's not black and white. All you have to do to make a scale is learn We'll just follow the colors. If you hit all the pure tones, you're in the C, your major scale. You can start here if I want. Or like this. Note. Another thing I thought of is the reason certain types of bees, it's just kind of an uh, interesting thought. The, resident, the reason the, the, a bee has the name a bee, I think, is because of the transitional and weightless feeling of the bee notes. And I have a feeling that they, they resonate in a bee, a bee that is almost a C. And uh, that's why certain types of bumblebees or whatever, they shouldn't technically be able to fly. And it's the frequency of their wings that's causing a buoyancy in, in the uh, oxygen and everything, you know? Just a thought. So the thing is, when you think of notes as color, if you think of everything as a color, and you start to map where the colors are, you can actually communicate with nature properly and um, feel music properly. Feel it. So like, the next guitar is gonna be nice and light colored here, nice and dark colored here. And it's gonna just be a progression of light to dark. And you'll notice, you'll know where the notes are because this note's the same, oh wait, uh, is, uh, this note's the same as this note. These will be the same. Also, this, these will be the same. So this will be like pink. This will be like light, light red. Light red, a little dark, like pure, like crimson. And it's gonna be like, like burgundy, and then it'll be like nice and dark. And that'll be the same with every color progressing down the thing. So that's the next progression of this to actually show the octaves difference. And I'm I'm starting to realize what the octave means. Because if there's seven pure tones, 
then when you hit the eight pure tone, so seven pure tones, so uh, C, D, E, F, the next octave. I think that's why it's called an octo, because octo is eight, octo. And that's just a way of being that the next pure tone you hit is the next set of tones. Because of the uh, three two pattern that it is, so, um, so it goes, so A, no, C, C sharp, which is D flat, D, D sharp, which is E flat, E, straight to F. But look what happens here. The importance of uh, the, the spectrum of blue comes in here. Um, blue is higher frequency, so more oscillations per second, but it also has higher influence. So it balances out the lower um, energies. So you have the yellow mixed with blue, which is green, right in the heart. Yellow's digestion, the, the solar plexus, they say. Our sun is yellow, it programs everything, it's right in the center. But as soon as you hit the blue spectrum, that's, that's the cosmos, that's the, uh, the ether. And now you're in the blue spectrum, you're playing the blues. So look how many uh, blue influence notes there are. F, F sharp, G flat, G, G sharp, A flat, A. A sharp, B flat, B. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven notes influenced with blue. And only one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Uh, well, there's six technically influenced. Well, with red, red only influences uh, one, two, three, four. Red influences only four notes. Um, yellow influences one, two, three, four, five. Five notes. And then blue influences seven. So that's kind of uh, the three, four pattern of um, sharps. I mean, so like. A three, two, three, two, two, three. So you get two flats, and then you have three flats. So there's there's D, C sharp and D sharp. And then as soon as you hit the blue spectrum, you got F sharp, G sharp, and A sharp. Um, so that would be a two, three pattern, which is directly linked to the light itself. And everything that the sun influences, everything that exists, is basically programmed by the wavelength that, of light that the sun emits. Um, and right now we're in kind of a yellowy, almost greenish tinge sun color, depending on all the metals in the sky and all that, and whatever, but yeah. There's just some stuff I thought of. <laughs>
deer hunter. Uh, I can play this one. It's about kind of like dream worlds and bringing people on with your dream world and helping people potentially, but also romance, I guess.